Hello and welcome to Lonnie's. So I've got a new product to show you today and that is the Baytex tubes from Tronics Pro. These here. Now the Baytex elastic they've been making a while and they did it in a lot bigger tubs but they've now made it in a handier 250 meter uh, tube with uh, refills as well so once you use the elastic you just have to buy the refill and not keep buying the tube. What's good about the tubes obviously it keeps your elastic safe in one place clean and tidy but also these little caps they've got on here which we'll show you more closely in a second it's like a water bottle cap the elastic comes through you push the cap back down holds the elastic in place stops it going back inside and it, and again keeping all your elastic nice and clean and tidy as well so really nice product these retail at 3.99 and the refills retail at two pound fifty um, like I said the 250 meter spools as well so you get a lot of elastic um, and also depending on what your requirements are they've got a fine elastic a medium elastic and a heavy elastic so whatever you need the elastic for you'll be absolutely fine um, they've got all the uh, all the sizes available and we've got them here in store too and on our website so there's something you need to know about it though and that's if the elastic does go back inside the tube while you're using it now what Tronics Pro recommend is when your elastic goes back in, you obviously open the little cap so it screws off the tube as like I just did. Put the elastic, lower the elastic into the nozzle end if, it, if it'll play ball, and then just suck it through. Like that. And there we go, and then it's pulled through the tip. Now, this is great if it's at home and everything's clean and tidy. However, if you're on the beach, uh, you might not be keen on putting your lips around that with all the mackerel, rag, and squid, other fish juices that you might have on it. So we've come up with another way of, of doing that by getting a simple product called a Tronics Pro, uh, sorry, it's a Corda spicy needle. Obviously, any spicy needle should do the trick, and we'll show you how that works now. Okay, so like we said, when the elastic goes back inside the tube, you need to get it back out. One way was sucking it. Obviously, if you don't want to do that, you can get your splicing needle, unscrew the cap, get the end of the elastic ready to go. Ooh. Back in there. Put the needle into the cap and through, hook the elastic onto the needle and then pull make sure it's hooked on and pull it through and it comes straight through and then you can three thread the cap back on without snagging the elastic and there we go and then you're back through so that just saves you putting your lips around that when you've got it covered in a load of fish juices and obviously when you shut it back down it's then secured in place so to avoid that, I'd recommend always closing it after use and always maybe close it before you finish snapping the elastic off once you've wrapped your bait up.